man, I love it when I do a video and the audio doesn't record. I don't know why that happened. But today I'm going to talk about the Analog 3D finally got a pre-order date. Now this is not the ship date. This is the date that you can pre-order it. It probably is not going to ship till next year. At the earliest, it'll probably be December, but it'll probably most likely be like January or February of 2025. But at least you can pre-order it. So that is a good thing. And for those that don't know, the Analog 3D is basically a FPGA N64 console. Which I'm going to go over everything on this page right here. And then we'll check out the store page. So... Here it says, introducing Analog 3D, the future is here. Reimagining of the N64 in 4K resolution, 10 times the original resolution of the N64. Analog 3D will, will be 100% compatible. It'll be region free. Bluetooth LE dual band Wi-Fi for firmware updates. Four controller ports. Entirely new next generation analog hardware featuring Analog 3D OS, engineered entirely in FPGA, no emulation, which kind of weird to say no emulation, because technically FPGA kind of is, but it isn't. It's basically a system on a, like emulating that whole system, but in, in higher fidelity, it, it basically is like a one-to-one -one copy of it. So it's not emulation, but it sort of is in a way. But here's what the system looks like. There's black and then there's white as well. I don't know. I kind of like the white one. But I also like the black one because it looks more like the original one. And there's the 8-bit controller. It has Hall Effect joystick. Uh, there's your D-pad. The analog button. Your C buttons. And then your B, B and A button. Right there. Your C buttons right there. Probably has two short ones for Z and then L and R right there. That's probably how that's going to be. So, scrolling down here, it'll say 100% compatibility, blah, blah, blah. It, it just basically reiterates what they said, just more detail. So, there you go. Um, then it mentions all the kind of display modes you can do, like the CRT modes and all that stuff. It's probably come out of what the... Uh, what do you call that? The DAC converter, the digital analog converter for the analog consoles. It's probably compatible with that if you want to just play it on a CRT. You can with the DAC converter. But I, I think those are weird. Especially for an N64 console. Like, there's no light gun support or light gun games at all. So, like, why bother doing CRT with the N64? I don't know, I guess if you're really nostalgia for it. But here's a closer up view of the uh, N64 controller by 8 bit Doe. So there you go. Then you see more games here. That game is Japanese version of Kirby 64. <laughs> There's Clay Fire 63. And a third. Neat. So here's the here's more of it. Here's some screenshots of the operating system, and obviously they were testing it with Goldeneye um, and Mario Kart screenshot right there. So we can see a little bit of screenshots, but no real like high quality screenshots of what this is going to look like. But I assume it's going to be like pretty good and. Actually pretty nice. Because uh, they all pretty much are. So. Here's the, like. The overview of what the console is going to look like. There's all the ports. HDMI. USB. What the hell is the USB for? Uh, USB. I don't know. That's weird. And then, here's what it all comes with. Expansion pack is built in. 
Um, let's see, turbo function, D-pad, vibration, which means it's the Apodo controller probably doesn't support uh, the Rumble Pack, but that's fine. That means you probably shouldn't need it. I would, I would think. Oh, uh, two USB ports for wired controllers and charging. That, that's kind of nice. That you can charge it via the console itself. Um, it, uh, the one thing it doesn't mention here is the whether or not it supports like transfer packs or the memory packs or memory cards. I would assume it does, but if it doesn't, I hope they give you a way to like transfer your memory pack like images if you know how to dump them, which I do because I have a dumper, um, to your analog. That's what I'm hoping because it does not mention it anywhere on here. But it is $249.99 plus shipping and tax. Shipping with analog stuff is usually around like anywhere from 18 to 22 uh, plus dollars. So you're probably looking at around $300 maybe in total, maybe a little more. So just be aware you will need to pay right away up front. It's not a typical pre-order. When you order this, when you pre-order this thing, you are technically ordering this. Because the money comes out right away. So be ready for that when you go to pre-order this on Monday at 8 a.m. Uh, PST. So let's go look at it here. As you can see, it says October 21st, 8 a.m. PDT or PST, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty pumped about this. I was pretty pumped about it when they announced it. They've been very quiet about it. They haven't really tweeted, like, teaser gameplay like they do with the pocket stuff. But I'm assuming they're going to release some kind of, like, trailer for it or something. Showing some gameplay of it or something. Because I'm very curious what this is going to look like. Gameplay-wise with N64 stuff. Especially, like, games like Majora's Mask, Perfect Dark. Stuff that utilizes the, uh... Expansion pack, but we'll see. And plus, I think they need to specify if it uses the memory cards, or you can use, um, or, or, or not, or transfer packs, because people like to play Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, and, uh, there's other games that use the, uh, transfer packs for, all like in cheats and stuff like that, for Perfect Dark, other stuff like that. So that's one thing they do need to clarify on, if it, if it's compatible with original memory cards and transfer packs. I assume it is, but I also assume you can actually save games through an S through the SD card slot on like Quest or Castlevania or whatever. So I assume you can do that as well. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll leave all this in the description below so you guys can uh, go check that out for yourself. I to to make sure you get in and get this. I recommend auto filling out all your stuff on Google and like saving your card information and stuff like that. So you can just click on the, the field, click, like add everything to auto fill it. So you can do it as quickly as possible because this is going to sell out quick. So you want to get in as soon as possible, like right at 11 o'clock or 11.01, whatever time it goes live and get in there and get it because it will sell out really quick. So... Hope you guys can get one. Hopefully I can get one. If I get one, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And I'll probably do a video talking about it because I actually do have a lot of nostalgia from the N64. So if I do get one, and when I get it, I will do a video on it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the last video not working out. This one should be fine, hopefully. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And this has been Rolling with Kevin. And I am rolling out. Peace.